is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in the new 2020 toyota 86 courtesy of hanover toyota in hanover pa and this one is special for the 2020 model year you guys probably already know toyota always does a special edition so to speak of the 86 and this particular 86 is called the hakone edition better known as the hakone more than likely to us here in the US. But anyways, today I'm going to be going over everything about this one for you guys, including the changes for the 2020 model year. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the 2020 86. First one being the base starting at $26,985. GT starting at $29,835 and the one we are in today the Hakone edition starting at $29,870. But so that regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant is going to be the same. Powering this little beast is a two liter horizontally opposed four cylinder boxer engine putting out 205 horsepower at 7,000 rpm and 156 pound feet of torque available at around 6,400 rpm and in case you were curious Redline comes in at 7,400 RPM, but overall power is going to be sent to the rear wheels through a six speed manual standard. There is a six speed automatic available for this one, and actually, that's only going to add $145 if you were interested. But if you were to go with that six speed automatic, you will also get paddle shifters and some driving modes, including track, sport, and snow as well. Although, with the manual we have today, I will say we do have that track mode button. This, by the way, located just behind the shifter. Essentially, your drift mode is going to turn off the traction control and a uh, allow you to have some fun there but zero to 60 is going to come in in approximately 6.2 seconds to go along with that mpg numbers come in at 21 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but now since i've mentioned all of that and we are coming up to a stop sign here let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration here in this one and let's see how quickly we can get this thing here up to speed and here we go <laughs> yeah. All right, forget about forget about track mode. We're slipping either way. It is like 30 degrees out today, so that was quite fun. A lot of spinning, but then again, this is one of those cars you drive when it's a little bit warmer than 30 degrees outside here in Pennsylvania. But still, a absolute blast to drive. I will say this is definitely feeling like it's going to shape up to be a driver's car here all right so i keep mentioning we do have the six speed manual here so i did want to mention as far as the grab points go the clutch feel all of that feels brilliant definitely an easy car to learn how to drive manual on as well if you don't yet know how to drive manual and you're thinking of this as a first car but certainly a nice little car to drive definitely a very nice feel very easy to shift through the gears in this thing also it does have reverse lockout protection toyota calls it essentially means that you're not going to be able to throw it in reverse where it actually drives to actually put the 86 in reverse they did make it an intentional act meaning you have to lift up underneath the shifter and slide it into the upper left hand corner so therefore it is going to be impossible to actually throw it in reverse when you're actually driving so that is definitely a good thing you don't want to blow anything up while you're driving this thing so did want to put everyone's mind at ease when it comes to that but now let's go ahead and touch on braking a little bit up front you're going to find 11.58 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.42 inch ventilated rear discs as far as the braking feel goes, this felt perfectly fine to me today. Did want to also mention though, since I'm mentioning the braking, there is a TRD handling package that goes for $1,270. And that is actually new for the 2020 86. It's one of the new changes for this year. Although I will say it is not available with this special edition here that we have today, but it is available on the other trims. But the reason I'm mentioning it now is because it actually does bump up the brake size. Brembo 12.8 inch front discs, 12.4 inches in the back, and it comes with an adaptive damping system as well and essentially what an adaptive damping system is is it monitors each shock absorber individually soaking up the roads imperfections giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering really giving you the best of both worlds so that is definitely going to be a plus with that package and in addition to that one more thing that package does add is michelin pilot sport 4 tires so a little enhanced grip there as well but i suppose that kind of segues us into the suspension components of the 86
86 up front you're going to find a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back a sport tuned independent multi-link rear suspension of course front and rear stabilizer bars as expected but also a torsen limited slip differential which is going to essentially send torque to the rear wheel with the most traction so it's not only going to give you a little better acceleration but it's going to give you a little better handling there too and another thing i found kind of interesting when i was glancing over toyota's website with the specs on the 86 is they do list a center handbrake in the performance section of their website kind of indicating yes you can kind of use that to drift if you wanted to although it's not a true handbrake for drifting but still it's better than that e-brake where you actually have to slam your foot on it so that's definitely going to be a plus if you do plan on drifting this thing at least but yeah rowing through the gears is definitely easy to do this car is fun it's definitely a driver's car i'm actually very much enjoying driving this car and that's coming off driving my own car with 460 horsepower so that should say something right there and perhaps one of the reasons for that is the steering feel is definitely a heavier weight to it so it immediately points you in the direction that you want to go and really in a car like this you would expect that but the steering feel is nice so i definitely did want to mention that as well ride quality is meh, it's pretty much as expected usually cars like this you are going to feel a bit more of the road so there is that and to go along with that cabin noise it's a little more pronounced as well but all of that really is in the background if you're looking at this car anyways it's like who really cares this car is so much fun to drive do you really care about a little bit of cabin noise i think not but so they're touching on visibility a little bit i can see perfectly fine out the back but so that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this new 2020 toyota 86 all right you guys here it is the 2020 toyota 86 and just to elaborate a little bit on the name the hakone uh special edition that we have here today that was actually named after a turnpike in japan famous for its bendy roads basically through the mountains kind of like the nurburgring of japan it is called actually so that's where the name came from in case anybody was curious and of course the color with the hakone edition is specific it is this hakone green that you are looking at right now it's kind of like a british racing green definitely a darker deeper tone to it so that definitely looks good in my opinion anywho the other new color for 2020 is going to be called pavement it is a kind of a dark gray color in case you were curious but let's go ahead and take a look up front led low beam headlights will come standard one of the cool things about these headlights you guys can see the 86 engraved into the side of them i always found that pretty cool when different companies do that usually luxury brands do that but i love that toyota did that with this one but led daytime running lights of course will come standard as well and those headlights will come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out they are going to turn on automatically for you there so you never have to worry about that and just below you will find led fog lights for the gt trim level and the hakone that we have today so that is pretty cool too but let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one 86 badging can be found in the front fender always liked that it's kind of like uh, nissan puts their z in the front fender toyota puts the 86 up there so that's pretty cool when it comes to the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors and they will be heated actually with the gt and the hakone edition that we have here today taking a step back a little bit black window surrounds will come standard of course and then taking a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch alloy wheels will come with the base 17 inch bronze alloy wheels is what you were looking at right now and that is specific to the trim that we have today of course and with the gt that's actually going to upsize that wheel set up to 18 inch alloy wheels but let's go ahead and make our way to the back now shark fin antenna can be found up top you guys could probably see that there is an added rear wing with the gt and the hakone edition here that we have today definitely looks very good in my opinion love the design of it you don't see too many rear wings looking like this that come straight from the factory and i don't know if you guys can see this but it is body colored on the side and then it is a matte black on the top so there is a little bit of a contrast color to that rear wing as well but as far as the taillights go they are led taillights that is going to be the standard setup across the board and just below it all i love the matte black rear diffuser to kind of ties it with the spoiler actually pretty well but to the sides of that of course dual exhaust outlets with large chrome tips they are pretty large outlets considering the size of the car at least but anyways as always you guys know what we have to do next here is that 2020 toyota 86 exhaust clip all right 
right, so now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there are two different ways you can open it up. There is a button on the key fob, so simply feel free to just press that if you like. The other button is going to be located by the driver's left knee, and that is the second way you can go about opening up that rear trunk. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 6.9 cubic feet. So not the largest trunk, but it's not the largest car either. But if you did need more space, those rear seats actually do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it then. Then make your way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 29.9 inches. So I will give this a shot for you guys just for fun. For reference, I'm going to take my shoes off here so I don't get anything messy. I am in even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Essentially, I'm not even sure if a small child could fit back there, at least with an adult in front of them. Car seats maybe, but not a whole lot of space in the back seat. I will say that, but then make your way up to the front seats. This is where it's really at in the 86. Manually adjustable front seats will come standard. You will find heated front seats located behind the shifter here. That is going to come on the GT trim level and the Hakone trim level, and you will actually get suede inserts. The suede inserts are going to be found in the middle as well as a little bit of the upper portion of the corners here, so it's a leather suede combo actually and i love the tan accents that's actually specific to this trim level that we have today but the suede inserts you guys probably know suede slash alcantara that's usually stuff you find on porsche on audi on lamborghini mclaren the higher end cars so i do love that it's on the toyota 86 i gotta be honest but as far as the bolstering goes the seats are bolstered very well but again that is to be expected a lot of people do use this as a drift car so excellent job there toyota Taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for all trim levels and you gotta love the 86 center cap as well. And you will actually get some tan contrast stitching once again. You're gonna find the tan theme all over the place on the interior here of this Hakone edition that we have here today. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Toyota logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and again that button to pop the rear hatch. But to go ahead and start this one, all I am going to to do is simply put my foot in the brake and clutch and there is a push button start located directly in front of the shifter so a little different positioning on this one you don't usually find that there on most other cars out there so we did want to mention that but once started up speedometer is all the way on your left tachometer is front and center giving you the rpms up to 9,000 rpm although i told you guys the red line is only 7400 so don't try 9,000. also have a g-force meter all the way to the right i found that pretty cool it gives you your g-force stats basically at any given time when you're driving although you probably shouldn't be looking at it while you're driving but it's kind of cool that it's there also your outside temperature it's going to give you down there and of course the tack how many miles you actually have on the car so kind of a cool gauge setup there i'm kind of surprised to find the g4 stats up there so that was pretty cool but now let's make our way to overall interior quality because i actually absolutely love the interior quality of this thing alcantara accents on this hakone trim level that we have today and you can find them everywhere including just above the passenger side glove box with the toyota 86 etched in tan and those suede accents continue around the infotainment screen actually there as well a lot of companies will leave that plastic around the infotainment screen but i love that they're suede on this one also suede just above the gauges it's on the doors of course i told you guys on the seats it is found absolutely everywhere and that is a good thing for sure you can also find the suede accents actually on the gt trim level as well and there's actually also some knee support cushions for every single trim level again a very good thing for this being a more spirited type of car more spirited driving i should say dual zone climate control is going to come standard with the gt and the hakone trim level we have today just in front of the shifter there is probably the tiniest cubby area in existence there is a usb charger just to the right of that and you do have a cell phone holder and a couple cup holders actually just behind the heated seat buttons and there is a cargo area so you can actually take out those cup holders if you didn't want them there and just use that as cargo space there's a 12 volt power outlet right there as well and just above that there is a sliding armrest and this is important i always like to emphasize this in manuals the sliding armrest is good because if you have the six b manual like we do here if you're going on a long road trip it does provide you a nice rest for your elbow as you're shifting through the gears at least with that center armrest pulled up so it is kind of nice that it slides up there at least when you have the six b 
manual, but let's go ahead and make our way now to the tech display. Seven inch color touchscreen display will come standard on the 86, including Bluetooth and audio streaming. And one of the new features for most other 2020 Toyotas as well, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay will come standard on the 2020 86. So that is most definitely a plus as well, because that means all you need to do is simply take your smartphone, hook it up to the 86, and therefore you have free navigation displaying up on that screen, as well as the ability to actually like and dislike your Pandora songs if you wanted to. And there's a couple other compatible apps as well. But speaking of Pandora and the radio settings, you will find an eight speaker sound system on the 2020 Toyota 86. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Honestly, eight speakers in this size of a vehicle is more than enough. Clarity is all right, bass is all right. It is a pretty adequate sound system for the 86. Quite honestly, if you're going for the 86, I don't think the sound system means all that much. That's just my opinion because again, this is more of a driver's car. I find it much more enjoyable revving through the gears, hearing the sound of the engine, as opposed to listening to the radio or something like that. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the 86 in reverse, and by the way, to put the 86 in reverse again all you need to do is simply lift up underneath the shifter and push in the upper left hand corner there when you do that you will find a rear view camera not on the infotainment screen but rather in the upper left hand corner of the rear view mirror this is one of the coolest things about the 86 i've seen this before i always get a kick out of it but i guess it makes sense because you're looking in your rear view mirror to see what's behind you anyways why not put the little camera up there as well so i guess it makes sense toy i'll go for that but Anywho, that, as always, is going to lead us into safety. And so when it comes to safety, again, this is a driver's car, front side, side curtain airbags. You got latch in the back for the rear car seats, tire pressure monitoring system, and an auto dimming rear view mirror. So basically all the basics that you're gonna need. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold